you too. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Good Life Forever, and I'm back with another video. All right, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an insane haircut transformation on a little kid. I basically I gave him a ball fade all the way around. I mean, this fade came out blurry. I think this is one of the best hair kids haircuts I ever did, y'all. So y'all make sure y'all watch this video all the way to the very end. It's not very long. I'm not taking too much of y'all time. You know what I'm saying? His mother allowed me to record him. And one thing y'all gotta remember, man, when it comes to kids recording kids haircuts, make sure, or styling kids hair, make sure y'all get the parents permission, okay? Some parents don't want their kids info, you know what I'm saying? out you know what i mean on social media and stuff like that so make sure you get um the parents commission um permission and as always good life over everything i'll catch y'all on the other side peace What's up YouTube, it's your boy Good Life Ever and I'm back with another video and I'll be doing a ball fade on this young kid and of course the first thing you always need to do is a client consultation which I leave out the video and also the second thing you need to do is make sure you take your comb, comb through the hair, make sure you look for no anything bad within the scalp, if you're looking for bad danger, if you're looking for ringworms, if you're looking for anything that has disorders of the scalp and also you're combing the hair into the to the right place of which where it lays so you know which direction to cut the hair all right y'all next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my one guard open and i'm gonna go with the grain all the way around the head the reason why i'm going with the grain is going go ahead and knock out a lot of that excess hair so i don't have to come back and hit it later you know what I'm saying so all I'm doing is now I close the clipper because I really cut and wasn't cutting what I wanted to do so I'm working my guard so all I'm doing is I'm going in with a one guard closed now and I'm going all the way around the head and I'm just knocking the hair down to the desired length All right, y'all, after I get everything to the desired length, I'm going to go in with my gold balance FX trimmers, all right? 
and I'm going to go in and I'm going to set in my ball line. I'm going to make sure that I do not push the tremors into the line too hard. It's going to be hard to take this line out. So basically, I'm just going in with it, taking my time, keeping everything consistent. And then I'm going to come back around the other side. I'm going to go a little bit higher because she wanted the first ball line a little bit higher. All right. So if y'all see my line kind of crooked, don't worry. It's going to come out the way it needs to be. I'm just setting everything in. The mother told me in the video that she wanted everything higher. So, you know what I'm saying? I just had to take what the defense is giving me. You know what I'm saying? Clear this panel out and make sure I get a customer what they want because this is a paid customer. They, you know, they expect, you know, to get what they ask for. So that's our jobs as beauty professionals and barbers to, you know, to understand that it's not about what we want the client to have. It's about what the client wants to have. Now, it's okay to, you know, consult the client during your consultation. You know what I'm saying? You know, i.e., if a client comes in and they want, you know, blue color in their hair with a design on the side of it. Okay, if they're working a corporate job, the color blue is really not a good color to put in your hair. That's a proper client consultation. You know what I'm saying? If you're corporate America, you know what I'm saying? Different type of colors, your blues and all that type of stuff is really not considered professional. You know, but the profession that we have, eccentric hair and the way your hair looks, that is our advertisement. So it's okay in here. So I'm just going in. I'm just balding everything out. Man, I know it's all different types of babbless clippers out and babbless trimmers and all that kind of stuff. But let me tell y'all something, man. These gold effects trimmers still hit. You know what I'm saying? As y'all see, I'm taking the line further up all the way back. But yeah, but these, these gold trimmers, man, still hit, man. I'm still happy with them. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, I'm looking for the same result. Is getting this hair as bald as I possibly can. When it hit that line up, when it hit that line, it makes that line look naturally crispy without using enhancements and everything like that. So, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm eventually going to get the new clippers and everything, y'all. But right now, I'm happy with what I got. You know, I done broke these in. Uh, they good and sharp. They're not cutting the client. You know, I'm not bearing into the client. As you see his face, he's very comfortable because everything about this with these sharp instruments that we use as barbers, everything about this is all about touch. You know, once you get your touch in, you know what I'm saying, everything is good because another, you know, part of our job is keeping the client comfortable. You know what I'm saying? If he's sitting there squinching his face up, it's not going to be, um, you know, comfortable for the clients. So we got to make sure we get in here, you know what I'm saying, and treat these clients' heads like, you know, with care because the head is one of the most sensitive parts of your body. You know, it's a lot of a lot of things going on in your skull, all right? So the sixth thing we going to next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in with you know what i'm saying it all the way open i'm gonna go up about a, about a half an inch to a full inch i'm gonna go all the way around the head clearing this next panel out you know what i'm saying and then i'm just gonna follow these you know the next two steps of getting this fade in okay i'm keeping everything consistent you know what i'm saying i'm making sure i you know comb one fade one you know what i'm saying or comb one cut one whatever you want to call it so as i comb that hair down i take that clipper in and i go ahead and clear that planner again because remember the more consistent that your haircut is or the more consistent that your guideline is, the better your fade will come out. You know, my opinion, the most important thing about a fade is consistency on your guidelines. OK, that's the most important thing to me about a fade is how well you can stay consistent when you're making your guidelines. Are your lines straight? Are they crooked? You know, what I'm saying if you make a crooked line, yeah, you could blend it out later. But it's much harder if you just went ahead and make sure that line was straight and taking your time and going around the head and make sure that that line is the same length. And you know what I'm saying? And it has the same length of hair all the way around. It's going to be easier for you to fade that line out. So I'm just keeping everything consistent. You know what I'm saying? Taking everything around the head. You know, making that second panel. He did a lot of moving. You know what I'm saying? He was sitting on that. You know, you know them black seats that you know little boys and little girls sit on in the shop he was sitting on there he was slipping off and everything but you know we we got them all the way together you know what i'm saying this is a good get good kid straight a's in school you know what i'm saying i went ahead and surprised him and his mom with a free haircut you know his mom is a you know a single mother and everything so i like to do for single mothers man with multiple children is to take care of them because they have a lot of responsibilities that they take care of, you know by themselves so shout out to all the single moms out there and shout out to all the father and single fathers as well okay so i'm just taking everything around keeping everything consistent and i'm just gonna go on to the next um subject and now the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my one guard closed all right as i already went down uh, i already went with the grain with the one guard closed all right so i know when i go in with my one guard closed against the grain it's going to still make a new panel because i'm going up in the air, hair instead i'm going down the hair all right so 
the proper technique of cutting any hair down is technically against the grain that's how you get your full that's how you know the length of that guard pretty much so i'm just this is my third guideline i'm just taking everything around you know a lot of barbers they go ahead and knock that bottom line out first and they work their way up well i like to put in my guidelines first so i can see where i'm at then come back around and knock those lines out all right so now i'm going a little bit higher you know what I'm saying where it's parado ridges and I'm just opening that clipper all the way up and just cleaning out all of that extra bulk out there to keep this fade consistent and I'm just gonna go in between that with my zero guard and make sure I clear this whole panel out All right, y'all, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just continuing on this side. Man, one thing I'm going to do is make sure y'all know is, man, don't give up. Don't quit. Keep applying pressure. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not going to come easy. Everything in this world is not easy. But if you keep applying that pressure, man, and keep getting up every day and believing in yourself, everything that you work for and you pray for will come true. But you got to be consistent. 99% of the battle is you. Okay? 99% of the battle is you. Whatever things that come in between that battle, you know, it's up to you to see if you're mentally tough enough to be able to fight through that to keep on going. You know, I sit up late at nights, you know what I'm saying, editing YouTube videos 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, all right, because there's a pl certain place that I'm trying to be in life and I'm not going to get there in the bed sleep. So I try to take advantage of my 24 hours in a day, getting better and better, being a better man, being a better, uh, you know what I'm saying, a barber, being a better student, you know, and, and being a better friend as well. You know what I'm saying? Being a better brother, sister, you know what I'm saying? Son. So I take a lot of time to, you know, manifest because manifest it, manifestation is very important in my life. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to manifest the things that you want. You got to speak what you want, you know what I'm saying, to existence. A lot of people don't understand, you know, you have to always, 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 when you speak on things, okay, when you speak on things, you make sure you believe what you speak in. You make sure you pray to your higher power on what you believe in all right and you make sure you take them steps and you make sure you strive to be the best you know what i'm saying person you can be to get there okay so our, our tongue is very powerful you know what I'm saying we can easily speak badly on people we can easily wish bad things on people but what but what are you doing for yourself and your spiritual self when you wish bad things on people and, and not wish good things upon them okay so i always make I always wish good things upon your neighbors you know what i'm saying and then everything will come into your favor you know what i'm saying and the next thing of all is don't quit you know everything is not going to fall into your lap everything is not going to you know just line up all the stars ain't gonna just line up for you you know what i'm saying to get you to where you want me to be okay and the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this zero guard close i'm gonna get on knocking out that middle line okay i'm gonna hit the line you know what i'm saying i'm gonna brush so i basically have like a rhythm within my within my fading okay i use a corner of the blade it looks like i have the whole blade on there but i do not okay you know all my new barbers remember 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 corner of the blade is made for fading okay if you put the whole blade on that line you will push that line up all right so you got to make sure that you hit that bottom line with the corner of the clipper and adjust your levers to make sure you fully you know knock that line out so as y'all see i'm just going in and I'm just taking my time and I'm just adjusting my levers. I'm just knocking that line out, keeping everything consistent. And I'm taking my time. I make sure I'm hitting the dark spots as I go around the head. You know what I'm saying? That will help me later on when it comes to me, you know what I'm saying, with my detail work. So I like to conclude, include my detail work with why I'm, I'm in the process of taking that line out. So that, that only way that can happen is by opening and closing the clipper and making sure that everything falls into place. And I make sure I stay on that spot until I see that line is, you know, is perfectly gone. And I always use your mirrors when you're fading. Your mirrors is your best friend. You know, I've been doing this for a while now and I've been consistently doing it. So I can pretty much see the line with my naked eye. Okay, but remember, you're staring at that hair 
for 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes at a time. Okay, so you got to make sure you take your eye off that fade. And, you know, say for a couple seconds, if you got to walk outside to adjust your sight for a couple seconds and come back and that fade will tell you what's going on with it and tell you what parts to hit. You know what I'm saying? You just got to refocus your eyes. Look into the mirror. Use your mirror. When you're going around the head, the mirror is going to definitely tell you the story of your fade. You know what I'm saying? I just don't understand. All of us is not too perfect, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how many subscribers you got. It doesn't matter how many followers you got on social media. It doesn't matter how many friends you got. What matters is that client that's in your chair. You know what I'm saying? Your clients are your walking advertisement to your business in the barbershop. If you're giving clients half work, that's what people are going to say or see about your business is half work. So make sure you take your time putting the best fades and the best tools, you know what I'm saying, possible to get this haircut going, man. And just take your time. Everything is going to fall into place. Everybody don't come into the barbershop with 200 clients on their books. You have to work hard for this. You know what I'm saying? You have to have to work hard. My first year in barbering, I grind, y'all. I grind. I grind. I was in the shop from open to close every single day. I did not run from one haircut. I don't care if it was straight hair, curly hair, medium texture hair, coarse hair, balding hair, what type of fade, mohawks, whatever you want to say. I did not run for one haircut. Because I had the confidence enough in myself that I can do this skill that is so important to the world. Y'all barbers got to understand, we are the second most important skill in the world is barbering. It's hair professionals. You know what I'm saying? You got to realize that when, you, when, you, when you're doing somebody's hair, when you're cutting this person's hair, you are a confidence booster. You know what I'm saying? You don't understand what your haircut does to a person's self-esteem. You don't know what somebody is going through each and every day. So when you get them and sauce them up and get them a great haircut, and you give them that confidence, you know what I'm saying? We save lives. We change lives out here, y'all. And we have to treat this industry just like we do. We change lives. We change people's perception of themselves. We make people feel better about themselves. All right. So y'all, so you know, we got a lot of barbers out here. We got a lot of stylists. We got a lot of estheticians that don't understand when you you change people's lives. You just stopped this person from committing suicide yesterday because you gave them a dope haircut. You know what I'm saying? So that's our job. We are we 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 are the gift of the world. We we carry so many traits, and we, and you have to be a you have to be a people person. So right now, what y'all see me doing is I'm knocking out that bottom line. You know what I'm saying I'm starting close. I'm starting, but I'm hitting below the line into the line. So once I flick my wrist up, I'll be going into the line. That's what I mean by flicking below the line and into the line. I'm brushing everything down. I'm always keeping everything consistent because that's what we do over here at Good Life Forever. And I'm just opening and closing that clipper. The further I go up in the fade, the more I open. The further down I go in the fade, the more you close. Okay, you know, brush one, fade one. Every time I hit that line, I brush it down. I hit the line again. I brush it down. I hit the line again. You cannot stress this enough, all right? We are we are artists. Fading is not as easy as what people think. You know, anybody can go to Walmart and buy a pair of clippers. Anybody can cut hair. But are you a professional at what you do? Do you take pride in what you do? You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between you and somebody else. That's what sets you apart between you and somebody else okay so i'm just keeping everything consistent i'm hitting that line i'm knocking that line out i'm brushing one fading one hitting any dark spots that that i see all the way around as y'all see this fade is coming out looking real nice y'all i really i really i really i really impress myself on how every time i do a fade regardless of how repetitive it is i get better and better each and every time i do it i keep putting them shots up i keep giving what that defense is giving me okay i keep putting them shots up i don't quit i keep hitting that line i keep hitting that line if i'm not satisfied with it i'm going to keep hitting it and i'm just taking it down as y'all see he's moving again on that seat you know what I'm saying I'm bringing his head back. Make sure y'all client's head is parallel to the floor, or as y'all, or as we said in the military or in the army, it's parallel to the marching service. Okay, if your client head is leaning, if their client is all the way down, your fade is gonna come out off because you're not seeing the fade on what it really is. So through the video, y'all gonna start seeing me move his head. Now you starting to see him slant down again once I let it go. You know what I'm saying because he's he's just loose right now. So so I, I bring it back again. I'm going in, I'm hitting them dark spots in the back of the head. It was a really, really thick spot back there. 
that I had to, you know, constantly work on. And I'm just working on one side at a time. I'm, I'm adjusting my camera. I'm talking to my client. As y'all see, I'm putting my thumb and I'm pulling the hair up. Sometimes that comb don't grab all the hairs. You know what I'm saying? And once you get to that balding stage right there, you know what I'm saying? You kind of got to, you know, squeeze the head a little bit and pull the skin to get that hair to stand up for you so that line will come out and I'm just keeping everything consistent I'm closing my lever all the way at below the line and as I go higher up into the fade I'm just you know slowly open my clipper you know close halfway open all the way open and I'm just doing this same thing on this side y'all I'm just keeping everything consistent man I appreciate everybody for coming through y'all I appreciate y'all for you know sending them likes i appreciate all the love with my new subscribers i'm now with a thousand subscribers y'all so i'm i'm doing big things out here in this youtube world i'm growing each and every day i'm just trying to make better content for y'all man it's a lot to this youtube world it's a lot to edit it this stuff is not easy at all you know what i'm saying this stuff is not easy you got to make sure the camera is is focused the right way you got to cut the client's hair you still got to entertain your client and still give them that experience that they're paying you for all right so y'all the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take my gold battle trimmers i'm go ahead and start on the lineup i'm just brushing everything in place now as y'all see he has a little piece of loose hair normally i cut it down so right now the client is telling me that his dad said that he didn't want that part of the hair cut down he wanted it to grow out so now I, just, I gotta adjust the way I give him the lineup, okay? So now I'm turning it towards me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the center. I'm just gonna work my way all the way over to the left, okay? So I'm actually going lower in his lineup now, now that they want that hair to thicken out, basically to put back into his twist, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just gave the client what he want. I had to adjust, but this lineup is still gonna come out crisp. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and start on the other side. I'm turning his head, making sure it's parallel to me so I can see. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work on his left sidebars. You know what I'm saying? Bring them sidebars up and I'm going to go back to the center. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to work my way all the way back over. Now, the purpose of you hitting that sidebar first, you know what I'm saying, is to see where the line is when you go back to the center. So basically, look at it like this. Once you put your sidebar in and you see the top of the line of that sidebar that you, that you put, on that client all you need to do is, is go back to the center and basically work your line to where that line was all right you just meeting you just meeting your lines at that point okay you just meeting your lines at that point all right so the you know the bottom of that point needs to be at the center of the eyebrow okay so need to be at the center of the eyebrow and i'm just working my way all the way around giving him a nice natural lineup i'm not putting no barber magic pencil on this client i'm not putting no you know enhancements in this client because this is a young kid he's you know school is back open all that stuff is going to be out of his head by tomorrow night okay so i'm just keeping everything consistent hitting that line you know saying doing a little bit of time and all right y'all the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my 245 triple cartridge razor with the maximum exposure blade all right and the product of the type of blade that i use the product blade that i use is sure all right s-h-u-r-e sure blades man these blades are very sharp man i like the way how they attack the hair and hit the line all right as y'all see it's a big difference between that sidebar so all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put his head back you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna work on the rest of that line and then his hair could have been complete in a world in the world today being in 2021 with all the turmoil everything that's going on in the world there's still people changing lives there's still there's still people out here motivating others this is before and boom this is after you too man thank y'all for watching this video i hope you like this video that fade came out extra crispy man and please don't forget to like this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below share it with all your friends and we out of here peace